Vitaly is trying to make a comeback. But first, before we get to that story, I just want to say what's up, guys. I hope you are all having an amazing day. If you enjoy talking about news and hot spicy tea on the internet, drop a big thumbs up, share, and subscribe down below. With that being said, let's hop right into the video. So I'm sure that everyone out there has heard of a podcast before. It's basically like a pretty relaxed video commentary TV talk show, if you would have it, where people can just chill, sit down, talk, you know, argue, fight back and forth in a pretty, you know, calm, peaceful manner for the most part. And well, if you have heard about podcasts before, then you've probably heard about Impulsive. That's Logan Paul's podcast with two of his best friends ever. Mike Majelic, hopefully I'm saying his name correctly, and George Janko. Now the trio have had quite the history, interviewing some top celebrities, having some spicy interviews, and they have done pretty good so far, and Impulsive is one of the most well-known podcasts in the entire world. And in this situation, I guess all good things must come to an end. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Now, George Janko and Logan Paul have been friends for a long time. Like, they go way, way back. Like, they've been homies for a while now. That's my best friend. But once he left the show, a lot of controversies swirled its way around the internet, and people said they saw this coming a mile away. There has been a bunch of clips of them arguing back and forth, you know, things getting heated between the two, and just, it fell apart. It, it had to happen. It was going to happen eventually, and and, and finally did give an example of one, one that saying. really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus no, that I one didn't. hurt me no I didn't I said you need a therapist because Jesus isn't quite doing it for you no, which didn't. is no, which is it. true no you didn't I and said, I, I don't want to stand down no you didn't you, you think, said you think I said nah, you need not a therapist what I think you I checked you and I said what did you just say to me and you said, what did I say? And you stumbled. And you're like, I don't know. What would I say? I, and no, then no, you no. fumbled. And I'm not backing it is, down from it this. Is. Now, after a while, things finally calmed down between the two. Logan had Impulsive. George Janko had his show. And they were both killing it. But as of recently, George Janko had Mike Majelic. Hopefully, I'm saying the dude's name right again. He had him on his podcast to discuss the falling out of Impulsive. What happened, the good and bad, why George left, how he felt he was being mistreated. Here's a clip. Listen for yourself. But when I got pushed out, and I'm seeing that I'm getting pushed out, and I start my own show, do you know what my final straw was? What? I got uh, my show going, and then not only was I controlled and pushed around on Impulsive, but then Logan's making calls and directing my show. And I'm saying, hey, man, you can't tell me what to do on my own show. That's not okay. What was that about? He told me that I couldn't take Celsius. Now, George talks about how he was being disrespected, Logan mocking his religion, him not being paid at all. He actually had to fund his own travel expenses, actually pay to keep being on the show. Like, he was going broke. Like, he was getting mistreated, bullied, and he had to figure something out. That's why he decided to leave. Those are George's words. But anyway, Logan actually reached out to me personally. He said that he wanted to say something about the situation. So, uh, yeah, Logan, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, say what you want to say. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that, Logan. Not that. We all know about that already. Um, <clears throat> uh, the other thing we talked about. Um, yeah, go ahead. I had to start my own show because we're not making money on the show and I'm getting made, pushed on. You made money on the show. The I can show you my books. I was spending 10 G's a month being on the show. All right, let's talk about this. Obviously, I wasn't on the podcast to represent myself, so I'd like to clarify a few things that were said. As well as having his own credit card, all expenses related to the show were paid for, including all travel and lodging. Obviously, George's total reimbursement came out to $20,000.317. I'd love to see any books that show otherwise. Spending $120,000 a year to be on a show is a little confusing. This is a guy who's sending a screenshot of $11 million a week that he's making. This statement is so crazy that it's almost laughable. That that would mean I'm making $572 million a year. I'm nowhere near that. What happened was Prime had a very successful month. I think we did like 60 to 70 million and I sent it to our group chat because I was proud of the business. I was stoked to show the boys and I think George maybe misinterpreted that as like my personal income. The show hit rock bottom and we weren't getting paid. I was getting paid $5,000 a month. But you did make a sizable amount of money on the show. And by the what way, I'm saying, always like, grateful. I was always grateful. Like that? Yeah, I don't like to talk about money. I know he doesn't want to talk money. I know he believed it out, but George made $317,000 in the 15 months that he got paid for on impulsive now after seeing logan's reply i don't know who to believe i mean logan had a ton of receipts he had all the evidence right there plain as black and white and it's pretty convincing i mean george you know he said his side but you know where's the proof 
where's the evidence? He has not yet shown that. Logan has. So, I don't know. I don't know who to believe. I don't know what really happened, what really went down. But me personally, I kind of feel bad for Mike in this situation. Because he's just the guy in the middle. You know, he's friends with both of them, Logan and George. You know, he works with Logan. He used to work with George. But he kind of just wants to stay out of it. Doesn't want any beef. Doesn't want any drama. Doesn't want to overstep the boundary and, you know, side of one or the other. He kind of just wants to stay neutral in this whole situation and some people didn't like that even you know Celine from the note boys after one too many happy dads he even went off on mike himself could have had more of george's back and I, I i felt like what you what you guys did was very wrong okay now i know it was hard to understand what this dude was even saying there but he does have a point Mike, you know, I don't know. It's like I said, it's hard to be in this situation. I don't know. It's hard to be friends of two different people when you're stuck in a fight like that. I don't know. Hopefully, they all get together eventually. You know, have a beer or two or a happy dad or two. Talk it out. You know, get the beef, the drama out. Lay it all on the table. You know, hopefully, they can be, you know, good again. You know, go their separate ways. You know, you know, kill their own podcast and their own rights. But hopefully, be on good terms. Now, moving on to our last story of the day it is vitali this dude is one of the og youtubers love him or hate him you know he's had his ups and downs but he is actually trying to make a comeback and hopefully do it in a positive way and he's making his comeback in the live streaming space and doing some good for the community He's actually going out, having people pose as underage kids, luring these old creepy adults over to have sex, and then exposing them for the whole world to see, pranking them, messing with them, and you know, having a good time with it. And even though he's off to a good start so far, a lot of people are questioning, will he keep this up? A lot of people think that he will kind of fall off or, you know, have some type of crazy experience or, you know, act out, kind of like FoosyTube did. And, I mean, there's even signs of him possibly doing so already. But, who am I to say what will happen in the future? So far, he's getting some bad people off the streets and he's having fun doing it. So, hopefully, he keeps it up. But, that is going to wrap this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please drop a big thumbs up and also go comment down below what are your thoughts on the tally and are you on Logan's side or George Jenko's side and what is going to be the outcome of that situation? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day out there and until next time, take care.